Silla, and I'm an API evangelist for Mashery. Today, I'm going to be talking about APIs and helping you to discover interesting data sets that can be helpful in your apps for GovHack. I'm an actual developer, so if you have any questions, you're welcome to reach out to me by email or Twitter. I'll provide my contact information at the very end of this talk. Mashery manages APIs for about 300 companies around the world, including some in Australia. And API management means everything from the developer portal to access control, rate limiting, throttling, analytics, caching, and so on. And what I'm going to do is highlight just a few of those customers of ours that have open APIs that you can incorporate into your hacks at GovHack. The site you're looking at right now is at developer.mashery.com. This is the website for our API evangelism team, where we feature about 50 customers that have open platforms. Platforms that will allow you to sign in, grab an API key, and start making API calls right away. So let's start doing just that. Let's head over to the Census Developer Center at developers.census.com.au. That's the URL for the developer portal, so you can get access to all the white pages and yellow pages data that's available on Census's main database and their websites. We're going to start by signing in. If this is your first time using Mashery, you'll have to register for a Mashery ID, but if you have one already, just sign in and you can instantly start making API calls. So we're going to jump over to their interactive documentation and we're going to search for, say, the word Opera House and click Try It. And these are IO docs, or the interactive documentation. It'll allow you to try out an API instantly. Your keys automatically populate. You can type in some information that, uh, that you'll have into the query. Click Try It, and there you have it, the search results. For your first result here is the Sydney Opera House. The second result will be the Prince of Wales Opera House, and so on. And here you can see how easy it is to put together an API call, and how easy it is to grab a JSON response and parse through that. This is TomTom, Tom, and TomTom is a platform that's all about mapping and geolocation. They have a wonderful API for routing, points of interest, and mapping, and geocoding. And so let's head over to the developer portal at developer.tomtom.com. Here I'm signed into the dev portal. I'm going to go right to it. I'm going to take uh, the geocoding method, and I'm going to type in 717 Market Street in the zip code here in San Francisco, 94103. And when you feed it a street address, you get back a latitude longitude. That's geocoding. Well, there's also reverse geocoding. You can go in the opposite direction. If you have a lat long, so for instance, you had a, you're developing, developing a mobile app, and you have the latitude longitude, and you want to go backwards, you can find out interesting points of interest. You can find out the street name and or the address using the reverse geocoding method. Uh, there's a whole lot of other resources here at TomTom's API to check out as well. So there's lots of other popular APIs at hackathons that don't immediately come to mind. Uh, even though this is GovHack, you have to really be open-minded to trying out different mashups to make your app stand out from the rest. So a popular API is Beats Music, for instance. Beats Music allows you to query their API for all different types of information, artist information, um, you can manage playlists, uh, user information from other people on the Beats Music network. Uh, rec get music recommendations. They even have a playback API, so you can embed live audio playback uh, either by JS, iOS, or Android. Another popular one is movie reviews. Uh, everyone loves movies, right? So imagine everything that you can want to know about a movie, from movie reviews to movie information, cast information, to upcoming movies. Uh, this information is syndicated to almost every major news publication around the world uh, when it comes to Rotten Tomatoes and their tomato meter and their freshness for movie reviews and that seems to make itself into a lot of different hacks at hackathons around the world. Mashery also manages the APIs for lots of news organizations. So for instance, the New York Times at developer.nytimes.com. Um, the available APIs here are quite comprehensive. Additionally, we manage the APIs for The Guardian. So it's a great uh, publication out of the UK. And you can search Google for uh, The Guardian Open Platform. USA Today, great publication here in the States. Again, US and international news, but also a wide variety of data here from movie reviews to book reviews, uh, census data, sports salaries, as well as, of course, breaking news. So I'm going to wrap it up right there. For that list of open APIs, just head over to developer.mashery.com slash APIs. If you want to get a hold of me, my name is Neil. My Twitter ID is at Mansilladev. My email address is neil at mashery.com. 
Also, I'm going to be on the ground at GovHack in a few cities in Australia next month, so I hope to meet you there. Good luck with your hacks, and please reach out if you have any questions or need any help. Take care.